friends welcome to testing tutorials point this is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about a very new topic that is low cost before starting that please uh, subscribe my youtube channel in case if you are not subscribing my youtube channel until that and if you subscribe and if you give me one like on my youtube channel then it is becoming like more increasing for me then i can able to do like a new new frameworks like this okay and coming to this like what is low cost is basically it's a like a, a low testing checking purpose they are introduced for this low cost mainly it's a, this low cost is basically a python based application this is basically a python based a testing tool and we can able to say like loading test and user behavior simulations load testing is a practice to the testing the software application with the primary purpose of a string of the application cap capabilities like this basically what will happen this low cost uh, when we want to a uh, test a uh, load capacity for that application or end user like api testing when we are doing like right we need to check for the user capabilities whether how many members they can able to use and this thing we can able to check in using for low cost see basically what will happen if you use the jmeter jmeter also the more the companies and members they are using for jmeter to test for load load and performance and the same thing and here low cost also one great option to provide for code base and we can able to do for version control using for this low cost basically this is python based testing tool okay what are the benefits is basically these benefits it will provide when you search yeah here if you search for low cost okay and you can able to it will comes to the documentation place and you can even getting start for this low cost related information see this is the one user friendly ui it will provide this is a user friendly UI and we can able to track here how many load members and ramp up and host we can able to provide by default in the code time when you using for host the code then it will take it and we, without uh, manually entering this one we need to do these options and we can able to start then it will go for inside for execution each api for the load of how many users how much ramp of time we need to use it okay and it will bring the good dashboard and visualizations and test reports that summarizing that entire things into one place now this is the one it will provide the dashboard in this dashboard it will provide for that each api or ui what are the things we are doing those things and minimum and maximum request and average 90 percent is medium range how much for current ramp up and everything it will provide here and also it will provide for the second how much failures and pass percentage and response time and the number of users sitting into that particular api and also it is handless mode like when you running for terminal we can able to see that entire information from that even without ui also we can able to see in the console itself okay and finally it will provide for some download data and we can able to see there we can able to see how uh, uh, json format xml format the data we can able to convert and we can able to download for entire information and also we can able to see the exception like uh, in case if something is fail what kind of error we are getting those things also we can able to see in the failure place and some any like middle we can able to get some exceptions right that moment also we can able to get it for that those exception details for each api okay 
and also it is enabled to test for the team to run a multiple test scripts to find out a main performance and load handling problems means when we want to add for more on runtime and we can able to use us at middle we need to interrupt and we need to increase the number of capacity of the users and also decrease the number of users and we can able to set the ramp up in the middle those things we can able to use for this core level nothing to do for manual and all we can able to do for automation side also and it will enable the testing team to quickly increase the number of test cases and comparing the test results for every task we can able to use a request to increase the number of uh, users to hit for more okay and also it is a open source tool no need to pay for any money but we can able to use open source there is no cost for this particular application because it is open source anybody can able to use it and flexibility it is a open source technology low cost can be customized and changed and used in any shape or form any by the testing team without no restriction for boundaries with it without any restriction we can able to use this low cost application tool okay that's all about this video i hope you enjoyed that please subscribe my youtube channel um, please do one like and share to your friends and colleagues thank you